Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Clackamas River Chinooks! We are so excited to be joining you today. It is Thursday, so these are your morning announcements. All right, Miss Anderson, this month and in the month of December, we are showing kindness and respect. So our standards of excellence focus is respect, respecting each other. But in these next two months, we're also focusing on kindness and we are making our kindness chains. So keep up that good work and showing that kindness so we can continue to spread that kindness and love around our building. Yeah, and as we looked at your student engagement surveys, this was once again our lowest score. So it wasn't terrible, but we know that this is something that our building wants to work on. So if you have any great ideas on how to help other students be kind or how you yourself are being kind, make sure you share those ideas. Ms. Anderson, we also have some really fun things coming up. November 14th, which is Monday, we have pitcher retakes, so get ready for those. And then also we have uh, kids creation orders due on Monday, mm. uh, the 14th, which if you look at our pamphlet right here, you can order some of your own artwork and have that displayed at your house. Yeah, we've got pillows, you can do notebooks. So much fun. Yeah. So families, if you want to get your child's artwork on some really awesome material, get that uh, order in quickly so we can get those ordered and to you by the holidays. Yeah, great Christmas presents. You guys worked really hard on that art. Who doesn't need a tote to take all their things in? Awesome work. Another thing, Miss Anderson, that we have coming up next week, we have our live assembly next week, which we will all be gathering in the gym to celebrate together. Okay, so we have that on Thursday, November 17th. And then we also have movie night following that on November 17th, starting at 530. Please, please, please register on Hometown Fan. So go home, let your parents know if you're coming, Register and get a ticket on the hometown fan. Yeah, we're planning on having popcorn for the whole family and we do not want to run out. So please let us know you are coming. Uh, the other thing that's coming up is our book fair and that is actually starting on Wednesday. So you have a chance to shop uh, not only during the day on Wednesday, but that is going to stay open from 430 to 530 right before the movie night and it will be open for your conference time. So when you come see your teacher, you can head on down to the book fair and grab some new books to read over your longer break. Awesome, and then, Miss Anderson, we have conferences coming up. So those are happening on November 21st and 22nd, where you get to connect with your teacher and learn all about what your student is learning inside the classroom. So make sure you sign up for your conference time so you have that time to meet with your teachers. Secondly, lastly, you probably noticed that you didn't come to school for a couple hours on Monday. It's winter and there are going to be times where it isn't safe for you to drive in. So you should have had your tech sent home with you. You would have had your computers and your cords. If you have decided that you do not need your technology at home because you already have something you can use, please have your parents fill out the tech agreement um, and mark that they would like the devices left at school. That'll let us know you don't need it should we have another snow day. All right, Miss Anderson, it looks like it's time for those birthdays. All right, well, a big happy birthday to Charlotte in second grade, Cora in kindergarten, Peyton in fourth grade, Isla in third grade, Carson in first grade, Parker in second grade, Tate in first grade, Harlan in second grade, and Emerson in first. Happy, happy birthday to all of you. Now, Miss Anderson, we're off to trivia. All right. All right, here we go. Let's draw one of these names out of here for our kinder through second grade. All right. We have Colby from Mrs. Obert's class. Come on down and pick out a prize. Great job. All right, and third through fifth. Let's see who we got. It looks like we have Savannah in fifth grade. 
Great job, Savannah. Thank you, Colby, for getting those into us. Um, we hope you enjoy your prize. So when your teacher says it's okay, come on down. All right, Miss Anderson, we have the golden tray, the golden plunger, and the golden book award. And we're gonna have to hit a pause on the golden book this week. Uh, we need Mrs. T to be here to give us that information. But for the golden tray, this week we have our fourth grade students. All right, fourth grade, way to show us that you know how to um, behave in our, in our cafeteria and keep things neat and organized. And how about for the golden plunger? Wow, Miss Anderson, I'm so glad that you asked. So this week we have our second and third grade girls. Fantastic job. Keep up the good work. Mr. Armstrong has been saying that those bathrooms have been super clean. Everybody's been putting the paper towels in the garbage cans. Excellent job meeting expectations. It is now time to stand. Put your hand over your heart for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Chinooks, this is our goodbye for this week. Just a reminder that there is no read day on Friday. It's Veterans Day. Okay, so you're all going to really enjoy that three-day weekend, and we will see you back here on Monday. Have a good weekend.